Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you a new way to make smooth cinematics, cam pass, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, I found this way much easier and you will be able to make uh, those cam paths on GoTVs as well with the better looking. Uh, so let's start. First of all I want to say thanks to Reed Pieces uh, which helped me a lot with Half-Life Advanced Effects that is the tool that you're going to need. First of all you should go to advancedeffects.org and should press the download link to download the latest version of the program. After that you should extract it, extract it anywhere you want and you should open it. Once you're in there you should go to tools, developer and custom loader. Uh, on the hook DLL you should find it uh, on the same folder you have Half-Life Advanced Effects. I'm gonna show you in the video. And you should open it. On the program path you should open csco.exe and on the command line you should add at least svlan1 and dash insecure to prevent uh, vac bands. You should press OK to load the game. Once you load the game, you should open the demo the same way you used to open. Find the action where your frag is or where you want to make this move. I'm just gonna exact my movie making config which will be available in the description for all of you which has some binds and some stuff in there already after that you should go to free look and um, let me just put this in slow motion to make it easier uh, but first let's check the command that we will be using so it's mir underscore camp pass and we will be focusing on mir camp pass space add uh, what this does will add keyframes to the position and the point of view you are looking and each keyframe will make the path for your camp path so I recommend you to bind this I have mine on my VGA button on my mouse which will be easier let's find the place where you want to start So let's say we want to start making our camp path here so I'm gonna press my mouse button that I have binded and make the first keyframe I'm gonna do the second keyframe now the third keyframe and finally the last keyframe so you, you will need at least four keyframes so you can make the path so after that we should save with the mirror cam path save and the name of the file we want to save. Uh, after we save we should uh, reload the round again. Then we, sh we should type mirror cam path load and load the, the name of the file we name and then we should write mirror cam path enable one so let's skip to the dig to where our first keyframe starts and let's see our cam path Here you have it, a cool cam pass, a smooth cam pass with GoTV demos. 
see how easy it is. I hope that you like this tutorial. I'm not that good making tutorials, but I still hope you like it. See you next time, guys.